Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding Hero uh, which is very very interesting since the beginning of the Call of Dragons uh, as well as because of the new legendary infantry heroes came out in general infantry got very very popular so it's time for me to speak regarding one of my favorite infantry heroes uh, Madeline so first of all, in order for us to understand why Madeline is still popular in Season 2+, uh, and she's uh, with us since the beginning of the game, we need to understand what kind of synergies and um, what kind of skills she has in general. First of all, Infantry PvP and Tank is an amazing uh, attribute for an uh, Infantry hero. So first uh, skill is a physical keen, uh, like she gets a physical keen, uh, which gonna increase physical attack up to 20% uh, in a 5 uh, level skill, and also 1200 shield. That's a great thing to have uh, as an infantry, because you want to be as tanky as possible, that's the main idea of being infantry. Uh, the second skill, which is one of the best skills in the game, uh, in my opinion, she is simply getting 15,000 more legion capacity. It means that you're gonna get 15,000 more troops in your legion whenever Madeline is your legion. That's amazing, like, I, 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 like it has Madeline and the second one, uh, like, as I know, uh, the Hosk has the legion capacity bonus. Uh, that's the only uh, two heroes. Hosk is for a only pay to win players and Madeline is only for us, for a uh, free to play players. So, uh, amazing thing to have. Uh, physical damage deals bonus up to 10%. That's totally fine. Like, in general, as, as we understand, uh, like, Madeline is a style of hero which is gonna deal a damage, which gonna be uh, more tanky. It's not, she does not have any healing. She will have shield. She will deal a lot of counter-attack damage. And sh her healing would be, like, uh, Legion capacity bonus. Uh, that's, like, shield factor. Again, here we are getting counter-attack damage, infantry unit HP bonus, and awakening skill. I understand it's really, really hard to awaken legendary hero, but we still need to mention it, right? Whenever Blessed Blade shield is broken, like, shield, Blessed Blade shield is, like, First skill shield, 1200 shield will be broken. Madeline deals damage to up to three surrounding legions. So we understood correctly, Med Madeline is not like fully full tank infantry hero. She is more like a semi damage dealer, semi DPS, uh, dealing a lot of counter attack damage while having more uh, troops uh, into the legion. Uh, like second skill is like one of my favorites. It's enough to have uh, 1, 15,000 more troops. You are getting 10% more uh, damage deal bonus. Like, uh, great, great passive skill. So, we already understand um, what kind of hero Mandolin is. And uh, now it's time for us to speak uh, what kind of uh, talents um, I would suggest for you guys to have on a Mandolin. Uh, like, everything here in talent section is great. Even infantry, PvP, tank... Uh, but in my opinion, uh, PvP uh, talent tree is the best, like um, Luck of the Draw, when your Legion la launches a counter-attack in the field, they have a 10% chance to reduce all damage taken by 1% for 20 seconds. Uh, great, great talent to have, and the second one, I think, uh, when your le Legion launches a normal attack, like you're inflicting defense break. Great, great uh, talent tree. But, like, in general, I think, like, if you will go infantry and tank, that will be fine. Uh, but I think PvP and tank is a great thing to have. Uh, but you can, like, try yourself what can, what kind of playstyle you prefer to play. And you can uh, manage to build your own talent trees by yourself. And now it's time for us to speak regarding, like, uh, hero pairs. Well, I think Madeline will be great. Uh, one of the most basic, uh, already basic... Hero pairs for meddling since the beginning of the Call of Dragons, like season beta version and uh, season one, is meddling as a primary hero and uh, Nika as a secondary one. Um, uh, like Nika can be get gotten from the gold chests, so she is also the uh, same style of infantry hero as a meddling, um, more like semi DPS. So she's uh, 
dealing 1500 uh, skill damage also she's uh, getting some counter attack damage from here and you all already understand that Madeline is all about counter attack damage um, like she can't be like Nika can't be primary hero because she has infantry peacekeeping and skill but she can be great great secondary hero um, other than that uh, new hero which is Goresh uh, simply because like one of the main reasons uh, Goresh is getting physical kin too, same as Madeline, amazing hero pair, but uh, for now Goresh is available for a, a pay to win players and for a free to play also it's like really 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 hard uh, to get Goresh. But if um, like we we need to have some alternatives, uh, Madeline with uh, even Eliana, if you just started the game, will be totally fine. Especially if you have a Wakem Eliana, she's getting some shields and uh, like uh, some small healings. Um, like generally Eliana is great uh, overall hero, and you can use her with almost anything besides flying heroes. So. In my opinion, for Madeline, uh, Nika is like great thing to have. If you have been playing this game since the season one, you should already have Nika at at, at least at five uh, first kill on the five uh, levels. Uh, besides that, um, like Goresh, even Skolgul can be good for Madeline, but not amazing. But in general, if you don't want to play with Nika, you can always go to Garwood because Garwood is like tanky. Um, hero she will get healing uh, but still main and best priority is Nika uh, for Madeline uh, and uh, after that Goresh uh, with Madeline and like Skolgul can be kind of good too. Uh, regarding like artifacts which kind of artifacts can be used on a uh, Madeline uh, like any art, any infantry artifact which is gonna give you some uh, damage, like for example spring blades, infront unit attack, legion attack, uh, simply because uh, in, like Madeline is more DPS type of uh, infantry hero. And skill with the uh, spring, uh, spring of the silence uh, is like physical damage. Uh, like up to three legions, like you are re 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 reducing the march speed up to 20%, good thing to have. Um, like Dragon Rift can be good, uh, like it's even better because uh, you are getting uh, physical kin and uh, physical kin is synergy for a Madeline's first and main skill. So Dragon Rift is actually like main uh, artifact for Madeline. Uh, uh, if you don't have Dragon Rift, for example, you can always go to Spring Blades. Um, uh, and uh, if you don't have, in general, a legendary artifact for uh, yourself, uh, um, as I remember, Blatcher's Blade is the one for your infantry uh, heroes. So, main priority is Dragon Rift. After that, Springs of Silence. Um, rather than uh, them, uh, like Dragon Rift is like kind of main priority. That's the artifacts which we can get uh, as a free-to-play players. That's why I'm only talking regarding them. Uh, other than that, um, I think it's time for us to speak regarding Warpits. As you already understand, I have every single Warpit guide uh, one by one on my channel. If you want to check it out, check it out. But uh, in general, I think uh, the beer type of uh, Warpits is great in general for infantry heroes. But for Madeline, I think Frostbear can be good with the shields, with the armors, and like uh, the Stripebear is more like a healing type of warpet. And with the healing type of warpet, uh, I think uh, Garwood is much better. So uh, Frostbear with its um, like main skill, which is like Frost Armor, is great. Um, and in general, Legion Physical Attack Maniac Might and stuff like this can be amazing for Madeline, in my opinion. Um, that's it, uh, like how you can get in general meddling, I know she uh, can't be uh, pulled through from the gold chests, but uh, if you like unlocked it in a season 1, you can always go to VIP shop, uh, you can choose meddling here, um, and you will get one by one uh, legendary tokens for her every single day. Uh, this is what I wanted to speak since the infantry heroes are pretty popular uh, because the Skogu and Goresh release. Um, I hope you liked the video. Um, I will continue doing what I have been done already for six months. Thanks for watching and share your ideas regarding this topic. Bye-bye. Uh,